Hey my love, so welcome to my channel. I'm Bibelo if you are new and we only have one rule in this family. You just have to hit that subscribe button. It's only one rule. And to my day one subscribers, what it do, what it do, gang, what it do, welcome, welcome, welcome. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing something different. I'm going to be doing a makeup therapy. It's a trend that has been going on. We just do our makeup and we just tell you stories. It may be motivational. Some do funny stories, but I chose to do something that would motivate anyone listening who wants to do what they want to do pursue whatever they want to pursue in life and not let anything stop them so the title of the video is how this beautiful animal science graduate became a makeup artist slash content creator slash influencer <laughs> yeah it's a lot but yeah i'm just gonna tell you a story of how i became content creator influencer makeup artist all the works so the story began when i was in high school initially i wanted to become an air hostess but that didn't happen yeah life is life my parents didn't allow me to do that so i had to look at other options and i just took different prospectus from universities and i chose three courses initially the first one was political science the second one was medical orthotics and the third one was agricultural animal science i didn't get accepted for political science i didn't get accepted for medical orthotics but i got accepted into animal science initially when i chose these courses i was just choosing i didn't look into the courses like the details what i'm about to get myself into and all that nothing because i was just doing it not from my own will like i was forced so yeah they chose me it's fine and then i got into animal science for me when i saw the word animal science i thought it was gonna be like glamorous man like i thought i was gonna play with cats dogs you know the works the cute stuff but then i got into my first lecture room and i saw a cow skeleton and i'm like what's going on in here initially i wanted to give up but i'm one person that i have this thing that i have to finish what i started i never back down it hurts me to start something and not finish it so i initially gave in i was like oh okay i'll see if i don't like it i'll change it next year but life happens i fell in love like i fell in love and yeah it was fine first year was hard i'm not gonna lie first year was very hard but i pulled through and then final year came final year you have to do like uh, in-service training experiential learning and you cannot get your diploma degree without completing it it's part of the curriculum so Namo girl i didn't get any practicals so i stayed at home for a year and that year was just difficult I'm not gonna lie it felt like i don't know it felt like i was dead i don't even like talking about that year but it happened it happened and i was just at home watching youtube all day every day <laughs> already i had discovered youtube but it was not something i thought i would do until i came across a girl called pick Mill. she's originally from nigeria but resides in the usa i fell in love with that girl she showed me a different side of youtube and at that time i didn't even know that they were south african youtubers like i was just so blindfolded by this girl i would watch pick Mill all day like i was so obsessed like i was so obsessed and then the next year came i got my in-service training and i was working in a farm like farm life is different you know people in the farms are very calm chilled they don't care man they don't care about what others think of them what who is wearing what and all that and it it made my life calm like i was a calm person at that time but one thing i liked was a female perspective because i was working a lot with male figures 
and we were only two females at the farm but the other female wasn't so much into makeup like i was so i would get bored thinking to myself why do i always look like this monday to friday i'm in my overalls my boots like this can be my life this is not what i signed up for i want to be all glitz and glam and all that so i made it a personal choice that every weekend i would yo i would bath and look nice put on my makeup smell nice it was just something i've gotten used to that you know what because my life feels like it sucks during the week so i'm gonna make it a point that on weekends i look good so finally i think it was around the 4th of february or something like that i just set my phone there i remember i was just sitting in front of a window and i was like let me record this this mini session that i'm having and i was just doing my makeup and i recorded the whole thing (laughs) and meanwhile my phone was just sitting in portrait mode not in vertical mode and i'm like okay child you've got this and then i initially started my channel i posted that video and i sent the video to a few of my friends and all that and i only had three subscribers at the time it was my mom my sister and my boyfriend but for me it was enough i posted that video and that's when i let my people know in instagram that i have a channel please subscribe and to my surprise people were like welcoming and they were like subscribing and all that and but still in my mind i had the thing that i'm not good enough i'm not beautiful i think my self-esteem was just at zero or even a negative 20 or something like that because i didn't fully believe in myself as much as i do now and another thing that made me not go fully out is because of i grew up my mom telling me that never ever apply makeup makeup is going to be bad for your skin makeup is not good for skin so i always had that thing in my in the back of my mind that you know what makeup is just bad but i had that passion i had that i was longing for it i couldn't wait just to put on a full beat and learn and all that i remember when i got my first concealer i would conceal my whole face (laughs) like it was just funny but till this day i am thankful for all the things that i went through so yeah at that time my confidence level was just not okay and i put up that video and i think that video stayed there for like six months if i'm not mistaken before i could like shoot another video because i was just like oh my god people saw me people saw my ugliness no how why would i do that why would i put myself out there like that now i'm gonna be vulnerable people would like no oh like it was just a lot for me but it kept on haunting me that you know what this is for you because i remember i would pray that god i want this i want a youtube channel i i I like this this is something i feel like i would fit in for once something that i really want to do and i think the world would accept me doing like the universe would say yes now you can do this because remember i wanted to be a a hostess that didn't happen so now i feel like i have something that i can finally say okay this is me i can be myself i can be free i can just let loose but yo my confidence was just so so low but then okay my girl time went by still going to the farm and all that and as time went by i was like you know what to go you have to do something and then i shot my second video i think that one was the the peak of everything because the first video i did like a music background and then the second video i had to do like a chit chat looking at the video now <laughs> i can see the nerves like i was even sweating because i do sometimes look at that video i still have it if you want to check it out you can the nerves they are visible you, you can even smell the nerves i was so nervous to open jahore because i was used to the first video i didn't talk it was just doing my makeup and i just put nice music there and now i have to say something and my tongue is just twisting like i'm like oh now people would say you don't know english you don't know this like it was just a lot for me i'm not gonna lie 
but you know what people showed me love and and i think that video now is at one point something k <laughs> but that's an old video but people showed me love and it was just so nice like i cannot be thankful enough for the people that show love on my videos yes sometimes i know they look like not the best videos on earth but i am forever grateful for the support that you guys give me for always liking for always commenting give me the heads up okay go you've got this yes sometimes i feel like people just say things just to be nice but at the same time i'm like no below some people actually do mean it they are genuine about it you just have to be calm and just listen and just go with the flow because sometimes we tend to be too hard on ourselves that we forget that there are nice people out there we always have that negative thing thoughts in our minds that okay everyone is just meant to say the worst and all that so initially it was like that i was like oh people are just saying nice things because maybe they like people from my hood because i'm like okay maybe they know me they're just saying nice things so that they don't hurt my feelings but at the back they like gossiping about me oh what is she doing she doesn't know what she's doing but something in the back of my mind said no some there are some genuine people out there who say nice things that they actually mean and i'm always open to constructive criticism so it's not a big problem for me if you feel like i did something wrong i'm like i i'm not perfect i do not know everything i'm still learning even now so yeah that also hit me but i was like you know what girl you can do this block all the negative comments and just keep on going and then i started making more videos i got the hang of the camera although yeah sometimes i will still get nervous especially vlogs at first i didn't do vlogs at all because i felt like vlogs open up you open yourself up to people and that's when people get the chance to like know your deep 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 like life and they can use it against you and all that so initially i didn't want people i didn't want to let people into my life but as time went by it it kind of happened automatically like unintentionally so that i got to open up in front of the camera although it was not something that i wanted to do because initially when i started my channel i was like i'm gonna do strictly makeup videos but as time went, went by you get to realize that okay this is something you can confide in you get what i'm saying you just pick up the camera and just say your thoughts like get out stress and just let it all out and somehow it's freeing for me so initially yeah, i went on i kept on producing content and then 2020 came 2020 for me was the peak of my youtube career because i think lockdown gave me a new meaning to what i really wanted to do mind you at this point before 2020 i didn't even think of being an influencer i didn't even know what an influencer was i think i was an influencer unintentionally so because it wasn't my intentions but initially i became one for people but it wasn't my intentions and then 2020 came lockdown happened i was the fortunate one i got to celebrate my birthday and lockdown happened a week after my birthday so that's when i actually got to sit down and start producing content because everyone was home and for me i looked at it as the thing of you know what everyone's gonna be home everyone's gonna be on their phones so you might as well use this as an opportunity to get yourself out there because i was still down down there i remember even on instagram when i started when lockdown started i was like on 2000 followers and by the time lockdown closed like the end of lockdown which was now in december i was on 6000 subs like 6000 followers so it does show that being consistent helps also with my youtube channel i got to 1000 subscribers during lockdown so it does show that consistency is key and it really helped me 
so I got a chance to be to connect with the camera like I was one with the camera I would look forward to the next day so that I can beat myself my face and do something different I remember I joined in on different challenges I would face beat my face every day <laughs> like every day but I, I feel like that gave me a sense of hope and I got my first promotion paid promotion during lockdown <laughs> like that was a blessing I worked with pawns during lockdown and I was so thrilled like pawns till this day will forever be the love of my life because they are the first friend that noticed me and at that time I had like 2,000 followers they noticed me and it opened up a can of worms after that and then I started working with more brands even some were not paid but it, I was just doing them just to open up like my world and be noticed and all that also it gets to make your page be like it has at least different pictures it's not like the same thing every time so yeah i would also do like non-paid promotions and then i lost my phone <laughs> i think we all know that i lost my phone and my world came crumbling down that was just yo that was just a lot for me it felt like i couldn't be myself because i I feel alive when I have my phone and it's recording or I'm just taking pictures. I remember I was talking to my boyfriend and he said to me, Bupilo, what makes you feel alive? And I was like, having my phone on camera makes me feel alive. <laughs> so yeah, and I got to realize that after I lost my phone. Yeah, so I was like, not depressed but it made me sad because i felt like okay now what do i do but me being me and the lord saying yes to my plans he was like you know what i'm gonna keep on pushing you so i was recording with my android all the time <laughs> like that android phone pushed me it pushed me it pushed me it pushed me then i got to work with bram because my takes my second family I worked with Bramley Cosmetics with my Android. <laughs> like, it was just so unreal. Like, it was just so unreal. But yeah, it's it's so nice working with friends, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Being able to advocate for people and being able to do that with brands that align with my brand. Like, Pons, it's something that I grew up using Bramley is something that I started using when I was in varsity. It's something that I myself would recommend. Even if they didn't say I should promote this, I would recommend it. So it was just so nice and fulfilling to be able to advocate for such brands. And the rest is just rainbows. <laughs> so yeah, guys, I just wanted to say that yes, sometimes we plan, but God has the final say. I am just so glad that I chose this path. I feel so alive. And for the first time, I feel like I have invited God into my life. Not that I'm saying I wasn't inviting him all along or anything. But I feel like I didn't take God seriously. Yes, I knew he was with me all the time. But being in this influencer space content creator space i've learned to fully give him the steering wheel i've learned to fully follow i've learned not to be in control as much to let loose let him handle everything because i've always said the thing that i can do this i can do this but now i've realized that some things are beyond my reach it's up to him so it has opened up it has opened up my my faith my faith has grew in general and i am just so glad that for once he let me be in something that i fully enjoy yes i i don't mind i finished my city it's fine but i feel like that wasn't for me i don't know if you get what i'm saying but yeah i'm just saying that i'm just so thankful for everyone for always watching my videos 
and if you have watched till the end i would just like to say keep on dreaming keep on pursuing what you love don't let society stop you don't let your fears most importantly don't let your fears stop you from doing what you love yes it's hard you have to work two times extra even 10 times extra it depends from individual to individual but if you really love something you would keep on going and you would not stop at anything anything i mean anything nothing is impossible thank you for watching see you in my next video bye